Hi, my name is Devin Gracielny. I'm the president of the West Allis Historical Society, and we're in the West Allis Historical Society Museum, located here on 84th and National, in an old 1887 two-room schoolhouse. We're here uh, in the Alice Chalmers exhibit. Actually, it's called the Homes and Industries exhibit because the history of our town is, uh, and our city and village, goes all the way back to when the E.P. Alice Company bought 100 acres and um, built their second plant here in West Allis. Several companies merged together and they became the Alice Chalmers Corporation. The map you're looking at is a uh, footprint, an aerial view, of when the Alice Chalmers Corporation was um, uh, very active in our city. They had a 100 acre plant. It was the biggest employer in the entire state of Wisconsin. Uh, on this plant you'll see, on this picture, you'll see all of the different divisions, including the uh, tractor offices, which are right in here, and then the tractor plant, which was up in this area. I know this very well because I kind of grew up here. I grew up on the fourth house from the corner on 71st Street, right across from the executive garage. And so daily I could um, see the men working and that at the Alice Chalmers plant. This plant was started uh, in the early 1900s and they kept adding on. It's one of many plants that Alice Chalmers had throughout the country. I think it is the largest uh, square footage plant, uh, so it would be their flagship uh, plant. It um, ran into some financial difficulties in the 80s and actually went, went bankrupt around 1987. The, uh, the plant Many of, many of the buildings have been torn down and there have been redevelopment done, but several of the buildings still remain. And then in this particular part of the museum, we celebrate the many people that worked at Alice Chalmers and the many things that Alice Chalmers and a lot of the other manufacturers did for the city of West Allis. In this uh, particular case, we have a lot of different awards that were given out to both employees and to um, uh, suppliers for Alice Chalmers. Um, you could get um, anything from an ashtray to a, a, a pin with a, a special uh, stone in it for the many years that you worked. We have some 50-year pins and pins going all the way down to 25 years and that. Uh, we have some uh, interesting artifacts, um, how for example um, Alice Chalmers had a party and at their party they had Louis Armstrong come. So we have a ticket from an actual uh, orchestra party that uh, Alice Chalmers sponsored at the Milwaukee Auditorium and featuring Louis Armstrong. Uh, part of Alice Chalmers is their tractor division and what we're celebrating here is some toys that were made um, uh, pointing out the different Alice Chalmers uh, uh, tractors. Some of these are pretty old and are cast uh, metal. Uh, not all of them were built here at the plant, tractor plant here, but uh, as you can see I'm even getting more and more toys even in their original packaging coming in and so we display that. Also displayed here again is pictures of the plant, especially the tractor division, and then the many things that Alice Chalmers did for the community, like they sponsored baseball teams, and they sponsored uh, bands, they had their own band uh, and uh, used, uh, let the city and the school district use many of its facilities for different um, community events. One of the claims to fame of Alice Chalmers, although this was before Alice Chalmers moved here to um, West Allis, is they invented this Corliss steam engine. One of their engineers who actually uh, Mr. Reynolds actually became a partner in the Alice Chalmers Corporation, um, designed and built this um, Corliss steam engine. And this particular engine was used to power a lot of electric plants that were coming up throughout the different cities. In fact, we have catalogs of all the different uh, cities that this um, type of uh, engine would be put into and generate electricity for the town. Uh, one of our residents here, an early worker, built this replica of the Corliss steam engine in 1910. 
and uh, this has been uh, in several other museums on display uh, because it's a one-of-a-kind. Ellis Chalmers, like many other manufacturers throughout the United States, when time came for World War I and World War II, they would retool their plants and um, would supply the War Department with many materials, one of which we have here is a shell that Alice Chalmers Corporation made it during World War I. And uh, like many of the other ones, you'd have to retool the whole plant and start uh, making more products instead of your products that you would make for uh, just the regular uh, cities and, and uh, manufacturing area. Yeah, you're down in the West Allis Historical Society lower level. This is called our Local History Research Room. In here we uh, collect a lot of items that are donated, most of them printed material or photographic material from all aspects of the city. So we have like uh, a business a file here and as you can see if you're interested in Alice Chalmers we have multiple publications and uh, uh, written histories of the Alice Chalmers plant along with other plants. And then we have if there are people, we have uh, important people all alphabetized if you have a lot of uh, printed articles about yourself, let's say a mayor or something like that, you get your own binder. A lot of city stuff. And then if you, as we're turning, you'll see a lot of boxes. All those boxes contain original photographs of um, different aspects of our city. You can see we have at least four boxes on Alice Chalmers uh, photographs, both of the interior of the plant and the exterior as we do for a lot of other things in our uh, village and city of West Dallas, including our school districts and, and that. We have a big collection of state fair stuff here. We also have all of the annuals from the high schools. So both of our high schools, the annuals and then binders on each one of our schools. And then of course our city directory. So if you had a home here or property, we can look it up in our city directories going all the way back to 1904. Uh, we are open Sunday afternoons from 2 to 4 and Tuesday evenings from 7 to 9. Um, or if you have a tour a group coming through, if you give me enough notice, just give me a call and I'll arrange a private tour to open up, uh, we'll open up the museums for you. Well, thank you for showing us around. This is an amazing collection you guys have here. Lots of, lots of neat stuff. Not not only Alice Chalmers, but other other businesses and other other things as well yeah it's a it's a, a total history of the community and the admission is free free we gladly accept any donations given though <laughs> <laughs> thank you again for showing us you're welcome